Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. And the movie was released in 2004, directed by Alfonso Cuaron. And it's kind of funny because he, he didn't never read any of the books, and he told each of the main characters, Harry, Ron, and Hermione, like they're real characters, to do an essay on uh, like what the Harry Potter series is about. And so Hermione, typical, wrote a seven page. Uh, Harry did a one page, and Ron didn't even turn his in. So it's like kind of like, like, uh, like from their movie, like personality wise. And the movie grossed the first day 5.3 million pounds in the UK, which is roughly 8 million in uh, US dollars. Uh, the book was released in 1999 by author J.K. Rowling, and the series translated in over 65 different languages. Um, for the most part, it was the main points were uh, similar. Um, so both do not show Lord Voldemort. They show like their like the like the villains, like his like uh, what do you call them, like disciples or whatever. Yes. Their apprentices. And uh, yeah, so most of the main points were addressed. <laughs> Uh, the differences, um, there's a few, but like if you've read the book, then you would know the differences. But if you just watched the movie, you wouldn't really tell. Harry Potter uses Lumos Maxima, a spell. And in the book, he uses a simple flashlight. Um, the filmmaker added the shrunken heads to add humor. And the whole origin to the Mortar's map is left out in the movie. And the Mortar's map is pretty much the map that like shows the whole school of Hogwarts. Or, yeah, Hogwarts. And so that's like how like the movie like that's how Harry gets through like secret passageways to like be safe from the mentors and all that. And here's a scene for the the shrunken heads how it humor. Sirius Black is Harry Potter's uncle. He just broke out of the prison. He's actually a good guy now. He was bad, but he's better now. And the other book movie is The Golden Compass. And it's similar to Harry Potter because some things were taken out and put into place the general public, such as religion, they're saying, because religion's a big like, part of people's lives. So, so it lo they lose the uh, audience if they added the religion into this movie. And the Divine Secrets of the Yaya Sister is the other one. The movie and book are similar, but the book leaves the readers with a greater impact, just like with most, most books. There's more information and uh, just more details in the books than in movies most of the time. And the rating, I give the movie 4 to 5 and the book 5 out of 5, just because of that same fact. There's more information and you can have like your own like personal like experience within the book, but the movie's still really good. And that's my references. <laughs>